Morning, morning, awesome people. Remember when I was recording the videos and going through the content, I told you guys that I'm also planning to write my 204. So I was recording the videos to actually go through the content and prepare for the exam essentially. So I think sometime when I was recording the video, I took a week's gap of recording or so because I realized that recording the videos actually takes way more time than actually reading the content itself. So what I had to do was just you know read my notes because I had already gone through the MS LAN, uh, what do you call? Path. I had completed the path, uh, what do you call? That were outlined. That, so I had completed all of the, what do you call, the modules that I'm here. So hence why uh, I decided that because I had already written my notes, I'm just gonna speed through my notes uh, and all of that and stop recording the video so that I could meet my personal target to actually get the certificate that was set up for the 12th of March this year. Cool, here I'm just gonna share a couple of tips as to what I found in the exam. So what I found was there's not a lot of theory around things like what's the limit RUs that you have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in a Cosmos DBC, for example, things like how big a blob can be and all of that, that didn't come in. But you get nuances in terms of theory where they ask you things like, uh, what would you configure? Would you configure a premium, standard, basic, or whatever present here for a particular resource to meet the scenario? So all of those uh, questions that I had, well, most of them were based on, well, all of them actually were based on a couple of uh uh, what do you call those case studies? So you have to read the case studies. After reading the case studies, you then fill up the questions according to the requirements. Luckily, there's a couple of uh, what do you call architectural diagrams in the exams. Expect those. There's requirement statements that uh, basically tell you how how the system should work, what should integrate with what not, and all of that. Based on that particular use case, you then set up the relevant. Uh, solutions or answer the relevant questions thereafter what i found in the exam was that it felt very very long it takes like one hour 30 minutes to write it on pearson but then i felt as though it was dragging for a long time right then the other thing that i found was okay cool i covered the theory part that there's not a lot of theory in terms of that it's more focused on the actual works so things like uh, your uh, powershell as your PowerShell, as your CLI type of implementations, they ask things along those lines. There's a couple of coding questions here and there where they give you a C-sharp code and they tell you, well, what I got was with a function to say, there's your function, what is wrong, what can you fix, what are they using wrong? So remember all of those bindings and triggers and all of that, just know them from a theory perspective, know how they work. So. Based on my experience from the exam itself, what I decided to do was I'm no longer going to record videos going through all this content in terms of theory. But what I'll do for you guys is because I have the notes already, I'll just copy the notes, put them on the uh, what do you call it? put them on the coming videos. And what I'll then do is right, let's just look. Then what I'll then do is go to things like the exercises that I have here. Say for example, authentication, interactive, blah, 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 blah. I'll implement all of those videos for you guys to actually see how to do the implementation because I felt as though AZ204 was more based on, uh, what do you call, the coding element or the programming element of it, the developer side of things and not so much of the theory right so as i do those activities i'll also add the notes that precede that particular activity essentially so i'll record all the activities that we have in the uh, ac204 uh land essentially cool cool if you have questions just comment under the video if you uh what do you call would like to recommend certain things that i should do for you guys or certain questions that you have Regarding the exam, just post them in the video, then I'll try to respond as quick as possible. Thank you very much.